Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again to serve you guys up another DC Multiverse video. Today, we got three new figures, three new characters, so to speak. Multiple years of comics, which is uh, equally as interesting. But from the Court of Owls, we have Talon from Dark Knight's Metal, Batrocitus. And uh, a weird one at that with the Elseworlds tale. But we'll get more into this Batman, quote-unquote. Uh, he's actually pretty stellar. Really stoked to show this guy off. Here is the barcode. And like I said, these haven't started to hit store shelves just yet. Batrocitus, relative new figure. Just a few years old. Showed up in uh, Death Metal, Dark Knight's Metal. But here's the barcode for him as well. And then, like I said, yes... Straight from those mysterious Court of Owls, Talon. And, you know, he's looking pretty darn talony, right? So, like I said, they haven't started to hit store shelves just yet. Mine came from Entertainment Earth, and if you are interested, I will put affiliate links down in the description below. Hey, thanks for using my links. You know the spiel by now. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at three brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures. Superman, Speeding Bullets, Batrocitus, and Talon. So, let's check them out. And, of course, once you're done opening all the figures, pulling out the weapons, cutting those little plastic twisty ties... There's a lot of those in these McFarlane packages. You got three pretty cool looking figures. Some that are like, yeah, others that are like, yeah, that's cool. But we'll kick it off with old Batrocitus here. The Red Lantern Batman that is Batrocitus in a weird multiversal dimension, right? So who knows? He gets a pair of extra fists, which is nice. And if you notice, yeah, that fist right there has the red lantern ring nice like seeing that he also comes with a clear translucent red red lantern and that's always nice to see nothing moves on it but again nice to have a red lantern you got the black multiverse stand and then you have a really cool character on paper right you go okay it's a batman version of atrocitus that then becomes a red lantern you got a lot thrown in on there but it's a character that makes for an interesting action figure. I'll give it to him all day, right? Nice reds, nice blacks. Really cool, interesting sculpted head. I do like the teeth on this guy, the red eyes. He's cool. He's even got these little red markings all over, back and front. I like that they threw those in there. That's from the design. But it's pretty much a look, we'll say, from the recent collectibility Atrocitus. But he's a miniature sized version, and you're going to expect around the same type of articulation as a standard DC multiverse figure, right? All those different parts and pieces moving. However, right here, I think it's an awkward cut. Kind of breaks up the boot a little bit too much. It's like boot, and then joint, right? To move it around, and then little mini boots. Maybe could do that a little bit better. Just saying. Weird cuts on that one. Peg holes on the bottom of his feet, legs kick out, double jointed knees. Like I said, you get him in all the different red lantern poses that you want. Or maybe he's going up against Jonah Hex one last time. Who knows? He was in the comic for about two or three panels, right? It's not a big, huge splash he made. But swap out the hands, easy peasy. And again, I like that they put the red lantern ring on him. That's nice. You've got the red lantern in one hand. I'm going to tell you right now, it he doesn't really hold it right. It, on this side, it does work a little bit better. But I can't say that you really want your Red Lanterns holding a Red Lantern in this manner, right? It's just it's kind of awkward. However, I do like that you can do this. And I'm going to tell you right now, I totally forget how they charge their power rings on the Red Lantern core. But if it's anything like this, he can do that, right? Just like a Green Lantern from the regular Lanterns. <laughs> All the different poses you can achieve. I like the different hands. Really glad they're adding hands right now. Is this the character you need? No, unless you're a big fan of weirdo Batman figures, which, yeah, I think he really does hit all the marks in that sense. Nice articulation, nice accessories. He's a great figure if you like Batrocitus. Next up is Batman, or is it? No, this is actually Superman from the Speeding Bullets Elseworld comic book line. And this one actually holds a special place for me because I do remember reading that comic book and being very confused. Elseworlds always confused me. It was always like, wait, what is this? Until I was older, I was like, oh, 
I get it. Elseworlds. Duh, right? But this Batman, much like Batrocitus, does come with extra fists, so that's nice to see. Again, we're, we're getting better, right? You got the flat black stand, and then I'm not, I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. Is this cool? Is it not? Yeah, it's actually a really solid looking figure, and I'm the most impressed, like this is my favorite out of the bunch, right? This would make, for this body type, this look, muscles and all, articulation and all solid batman figure swap all the uh, pieces out and and yeah you'd have a really solid buck body for batman of course minus all the lines which i do like they did their homework here this is the exact suit that he wears in this superman elseworlds tale that's cool so i'll give it to him all day even down to the cape yes the cape could have been a little bit longer heck even cloth goods but it's a solid cape. I like that. The face is great. I love the Batman symbol within the yellow Superman symbol. And he can look all the way up and do all the cool DC multiverse articulation that you'd expect. Butterfly joints, bicep, double jointed everything. He's got a really good ab crunch. Again, solid. I like the way that the rubber diaper works on this guy. Solid. Total improvement over... Other diapers, right, that we have seen, the legs work good. You can get him in all the different poses, flying and whatnot. The cape works with him. But again, if you use this body or just these type of figure for Batman in the future, it's going to be solid. And the best part about it is with all that added articulation, you can do the Elseworlds cover, which is, of course, a nod to one of the original Superman covers as well. So I really dig that. That is cool. That's what you really need it for. You're like, oh, that's iconic right there. And you can do all the Superman poses that you want. You can punch Batrocitus right in the face. You can do that too. Or he can just stand there looking all Batman Superman-y. But uh, yeah, it's a very cool figure indeed. Which brings us to Talon. Again, out of the three figures, Superman Speedy Bullets takes the cake. And I would say Talon is number two. Batrocitus is always going to be on the bottom. And mainly because he's just an odd end new character. Now, you do get several weapons with Talon. You get these knives, throwing knives, knivey knives, cutting people up, doing whatever the Talons do. The reanimated corpses, weirdos from the Court of Owls. And then you have these holsters with the sheets. Now, I don't know if it's saving money type of thing or it's a, hey, we don't break the swords, putting them in and out of the sheath type of thing. I don't really like these open sheaths. Just FYI, I think that this version looks a little bit better than a lot of the open sheaths they've done in the past. It fits a little bit better, but going forward as a collector's line, you know what I mean, for DC Multiverse, let's close those up. It's weird, and oftentimes you knock it, and it pops the sword out wrong, and it ends up sticking. You know what I mean? It's just kind of a... Yeah, it's better than prior released figures that come with swords, like Deathstroke, for instance. But uh, let's fix that. Just an FYI, it's not the same sword as comes with Ra's al Ghul. I know a lot of people were like, hey, but it, it's not. But anyways, standard multiverse stand, and you have Talon. And for what Talon is, for a $20 figure... He could have added a little bit more to it, a little bit more paint here and there, but I give it to him that I do like the face. I like the gold paint. He's got the brooch right there. He's got all the different weapons, which are painted. That's nice to see. Lots of silver accents. Here on the belt, various weapons and pouches. Sure, they don't really stand out that much. There's not a whole lot of paint once you get past the waist. It's pretty much a flat black figure. You've got tons of articulation, all the different peg holes, yada yada. You got the strap that goes around the hole in the back is where all the sword holster will fit in. On the side right here on his belt, I totally had to do a double take. I was like, did I forget to pull a sword out of the box? Nothing goes in that, right? There's nothing to hold. I don't like that. Give us a sword to put if you're going to do something like that. Because I totally had to take a second and go, did, did I just throw something away that I shouldn't have? Articulation, again, DC Multiverse. You get it by now. Nothing mind-blowing, nothing crazy, nothing I really have to point out. I do like his Wolverine gauntlet, and you got the Batman movie accentuation. Hey, that's pretty cool to see. But again, articulation-wise, a lot more of an ab crunch, a lot more upper diaphragm rotation, the diaper works on him as well. Nice and rubbery, flows with the figure, nothing really like a jarring cut. 
The legs, however, do get a little bit hindered. He's supposed to be more of an acrobatic character, right? Haley circusish, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of gets kind of hindered. Double jointed knees, feet, toe. I thought at first he had the older ball articulation, but no, it's just a little bit of a different shape, which, hey, I totally appreciate that. So you get that new added updated articulation. Throw the swords onto his back. And yeah, to be honest with you, even though Talon is is not really a character, I'm like, oh, Talon, yes. I think I like the idea of the Court of Owls a lot more than it was executed. And ultimately how they've been portrayed recently, it's kind of like a joke. Also, I know different continuities and New 52s and all that kind of stuff. But you really have to think, how did Batman not know about this ancient Court of Owls thing all this time in Gotham City? He does look good with Damian Wayne Robin, if you wanted to go that Batman vs. Robin animated feature, right? And speaking of pairing all these figures up with prior figures, yeah, Damian, Batman, this Batman, we'll just say, goes well with Talon. I think that those look nice together with the green lantern end of all things we have batrocitus atrocitus parallax having batrocitus and atrocitus man oh man what a tongue twister it's funny to see their heights on this totally thought it was going to be a bigger figure but batrocitus is kind of on the smaller end especially when you have let's say jean paul valley or the three jokers batman he's tiny which doesn't detract you're like okay well he's an Elseworlds version of Batman, it's not a big deal, but he's just kind of tiny. And then when you have other quote-unquote Elseworlds versions, I know, Zorinarg, well, we're getting more into that with the recent comics, but this Elseworlds Superman does look solid. And like I said, if you have this body type or this look for this figure, and you got a good look at Robin, that's not a bad Batman figure, just saying. But in terms of Elseworld and 90s and throwing that whole thing back and going, yeah, remember these comic book ads in all those comic books you used to read? I really like this figure. It does hold a special place in my collection now. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at three new DC Multiverse figures by McFarlane Toys. Batrocitus, Superman, Speeding Bullets, and Talon from the Court of Owls. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And again, if you're interested in any of these figures, I'll have Entertainment Earth affiliate links down in the description below. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, as weirdo as Batrocitus is, he's a lot of fun. More weirdo Batmans, just saying. And when you do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.